I'm Marcus. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. There was freaking ibex everywhere. Shakes. I'm stressed out. I haven't felt like this in a long time, so. Oh man, here we go. So I've got gun, bolt, bipod, uh, adjusting tool, cleaning cloth. I think that's about it. Passports, cash. We're waiting on the COVID free test, which we really freaking need. <laughs> so hopefully that's coming soon. Uh, it'll be here tonight or first thing in the morning. Um, I think we're about ready to rock. So. Oh my gosh. Well, here we go. <laughs> game time. Game time. Oh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> we don't right have COVID not. results yet. My wife may, may have a baby the day I get home or hopefully not a day before. But we're going to Turkey to hunt Ibex. Here we go. Did you ever, ever imagine that this would be happening? No, I can't even imagine. I couldn't even have ever, would never guess that this is even possible. So, super excited. We'll see how this whole thing plays out. It's going to be a crazy adventure and uh, see where we end up here shortly. Go to Turkey, baby! Go! I still can't believe this. Which lady did you talk to? I talked to the one over here. Well, we're in Chicago. Uh, supposedly all three of our bags are here. They are? That's what she said. Let's go find Turkish Airlines and then, uh, yeah, we'll make sure they got our bags. I think we're okay. okay. So. <laughs> I love you. Okay, babe, I'll play tomorrow. We're on the plane, and there's a lot of people on here. <laughs> but we're ready to rock. Next stop, Istanbul, Turkey. Freak. 
They're there. All three bags are on the plane. Killing it. We're in Istanbul, Turkey now. We flew all night long. Flew from Salt Lake to Chicago. Had a super long layover. Uh, then we flew from Chicago to Istanbul last night. It was about 10 hours. Uh, flew all night our time. And it's kind of weird because now it's 6 o'clock p.m. here. So didn't really sleep last night. Now we're going to have to get on one more short flight and then go to bed. So um, we're flying uh, to Trabon and then staying in a hotel tonight, it sounds like. Um, it sounds like it's been snowing a bunch where we're hunting, so we're not exactly sure where we're going to be hunting, but we're excited for the adventure and fun to see different cultures and uh, we can't wait to be here. Please keep your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt sign has been turned off. Hello, Ali. Ali. Hi. How are you? Ali. I'm Marcus. Hi. Nice Hi. to meet you. Nice Hello. to meet you. Good. Murat. 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 Yes, nice to meet you. Yes. All right. Yes, awesome. Yeah. Good to meet you. Well, we know we've got a gun, so we're just yes, waiting for everything we're gonna else. We're going to take your backpack, then we go there. Oh, there we'll go in here? Yes. Uh, we need our passport, police check, custom checks, yes, rifle and bullet. Then we go. Okay, perfect. We stay one night here. Okay. We are tired. Early in the morning we leave from here. I think five or six hours away. Okay. Let me go hunting out there. Sweet. Yeah. Awesome. Sweet. Made it. Made it. Oh, what a blessing our bags are here. Oof, That's such a relief. Everything's here. We're good. First plan service. We're ready to rock. We got Bags it all. here. We're here. Just passed our gun permit inspection, whatever that thing was. Lots of words we don't understand and lots of signatures. Oh, really? It's like we're well prepared. We can fix it. Okay. You just be relaxed, okay? Alright. <laughs> you are in holiday. Right? Hey! Alright. <laughs> you are the boss here. Well, they just they want to please you so bad and make sure they do a good job. Chicken sounds great. Yeah. Yeah, chicken grill is good. Uh, everybody like it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, let's do some chicken. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Uh, this happens. See what I do. A little bit of a language barrier, just slightly. Look at our dinner, it smells so good. They're spoiling us, they said we're the king. Well, they're like taking great care of us, this is awesome. Looks fantastic. Oh, that smells so good. We put this one, okay. thank you. You know, it's good when it's all cleaned off. That was so good, that was, dinner was amazing. Taking great care of us, spoiling us. Turkey hunting flipping bizarre ibex. I still can't quite get over that. Looking at the Black Sea after a fantastic fresh breakfast. Life could be a lot worse. It's our first day in Turkey. Uh, we flew in and landed last night. We're in Trabzon, which is right on the border of the Black Sea. Pretty amazing to be able to wake up this morning and hear the call to prayer and then look out over the Black Sea. It's a beautiful place. Um, as you can tell, it's super rainy. Um, They've been scouting an area on this side uh, of the, I guess by the border of the sea. They found a really big billy, but they're concerned with the weather this week that it's going to be too foggy and uh, not going to be able to see them. So we're actually going to pick up and move south. It sounds like three or four hours and hunt a different area. Uh, they said there's lots of ibex around and we should be able to find a giant. So uh, super excited. It's just fun to be here. Cold and excited at the same time. <laughs> Yep. 
We have no idea what we're eating, no. but it's really good. And this lady's really nice, and she really wants to be on TV. <laughs> In America. <laughs> In America. <laughs> you? No. Picture. Copy, keep copy. All right. Copy. All right. Thank you. <laughs> we got a girlfriend or a friend or something there. A <laughs> not new mom. A new mom. Yeah. I'm not sure why we just got there, but we just shared our cell phone with her. So, super nice lady. <laughs> yes, yeah, super nice lady. Very nice. She feels she is like your mother. Yeah, know? she's like our mom. Where's your mask? <laughs> don't know. <laughs> I don't know where it is, mom. Stopping is checking out what the local fishermen are catching. Sounds like some of our scouts have found the big group ibex, so we're gonna go and see what they are. Getting excited. Super pretty. Hello. This is Bedat, okay? Alright. He's one of the wild guys. Awesome. Mashallah. Yes. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know what I'm even looking for. <laughs> I don't know what they're supposed to look like. It's always hard hunting a new species until you get to see the first few and then all of a sudden get to see coloration and things. I imagine they look dang near just like this rock we're looking at. There's some fog sitting on them right now, but there's like eight or nine billies. There's one or two that look pretty decent. Fog sitting right on them right now. But everywhere you look, there's more ibex. They're just fed it all over up in there. And we can only see a small part of that bowl. So. Other side. But we check here. Maybe here bigger than that one. You never know. I'm tired. I'm tired too. We had a good half first day of hunting. Saw a couple groups of billies and lots of females. Probably saw two billies that were in the 40 inch range. Nothing that we're ready to shoot, but uh, super awesome. So we need some sleep. We're a little behind, we're gonna get caught up tonight, grab some dinner and go to bed early and then get after it tomorrow. It's supposed to be pretty cold, so we'll see what goes in the morning. This is a crazy cool place. That one, right? I think you This is the scariest elevator I've ever been in. The doors lock you in, and if the lights turned off the last time I was in it, so it was pitch black. <laughs> Thought I was stuck in this thing. And then the doors open, and, and it's kind of like, door, what do you do? Locked. Watch, it's a magic trick. Nope. This door opens, and then there's nothing. What do you do? <laughs> See, then the lights turn <laughs> off. Before <laughs> I get stuck. First full day of hunting. So last night we went out and uh, well yesterday afternoon, we glassed all afternoon. Saw lots of ibex, probably, I don't know, 50, 60 I'd guess, between the groups we saw. Uh, a couple like 40 inch, seven year old type billies. Um, we're looking for something better. So today's our first full day. They said the morning's the best. So we're super excited to get up and start glassing and see what we can find. And it's a great day. Slept great last night. I was out cold from about 8.45 p.m. till 5.15. That's the best I've slept in a while. So, feel good today. Whole new uh, new life in me. That stuff's still hot. That is amazing. Thank you. Okay. He's to turn. Okay. 
He, I mean, it's, he hooks clear back. He said there's bigger ones. Let's go. Got the feeling. I got the feeling there's going to be a big, big one up here in the snow somewhere. under a cave, I have no idea how I saw that. That was an amazing spot. First morning of our first full day, we woke up, <clears throat> went back to some of the areas that we checked yesterday. Um, it had snowed just a little bit last night in some of the top areas, but we, what do we see? Stopped and glassed, uh, found some of the same groups of billies from last night, found another group that had five or six. The biggest one looks like maybe, I don't know, seven, maybe eight years old, uh, low 40s, 40 inches. I don't have any idea, but pretty heavy. Uh, we went clear up to the top of the mountain in the snow and saw uh, one younger billy with a broken front leg. Yeah, you know, it's only 11.30, first morning of the first full day. Um, we've seen lots of ibex, it's a ton of fun. The weather's pretty good, it's cool, but it's not pouring rain on us, which is great. So we're gonna eat some nice lunch and then I think head the opposite direction and see what we can turn up that way. But having a lot of fun. Mm. So all the are yeah. so good. Check the rifle really quick. Shot one at 400, perfect. Pushed it out twice, 750, about a 12 inch rock, perfect. So we're ready to go. Just need to find the right Ibex. Big Billy. Yeah. Big Billy, let's go. That's the biggest one we've seen. That thing's heavy. There are ibex everywhere. There's like 10 billies. This one's like straight, but heavy, and definitely the biggest one we've seen. Ibex everywhere. But that was fun as heck. <laughs> Freaking ibex running everywhere. Oh, that was cool. That was so sweet. That sucker's heavy. <laughs> Three days left, four days left. Bad weather, all four days. Got a really nice billy here, but they want to keep looking. And that's fine, you gotta trust your guide. But if the weather was good, I wouldn't be nervous, but it's supposed to like 100% chance of rain every day. So we'll see.
ナーでのメロン。No rain yet. Good, good, good. <laughs> We've looked over most of the area,、uh, at least all the areas that typically hold ibex. We've seen a ton of ibex, and so、uh, nothing giant, but lots of really, really good ones.、Um, we're going after an ibex this morning that we're going to call the rumor.、Um, this might be our government helper here, I hope. Hello. Hello. Hassan. How are you? Hassan? Hassan. Brady, Marcus. Nice to meet you. We're going after an ibex this morning.、We've, Marcus and I have called or named the rumor.、Uh, supposedly, like 120, 125 centimeter, you know, high 40s type ibex that they've seen around here. We're going to go look for it this morning, see what we can turn up. If we can't find it, we're going to go kill the best one we can find and see if we can get one on the ground. So it's going to be a great day. It's up in those on the edge of the. I think there's two big males. It's a big male? There's three? Dude, they're like black and white. Come on. Let it be the one. I think you're higher than me. You see? Oh, here they come down. Nice meter, bro. Is it better? Is it is it bigger than the other one? I think bigger than the other one. Yeah. I will check anyway, but、oh, it's bigger than the other one. It's go out. Well, they are behind that hill, but all I saw was. I just saw a bunch of horn come out. Was there one that was medium and one that was really big? There is three or four. How many centimeters is the big one? Yeah. 10, 15, really? Just so you see where that ridge comes、yeah. down?、Yeah. They're just off the other side. I saw one come through the trees that looked like he had big, thick horn, but I don't know. We are getting ready to head back to town. One last ditch effort. Looked up on the hill. Six billies coming off the hill. And there is one bomber. Like. The ibex you come to Turkey for. It's a long ways up here. We're gonna hike up. It's probably gonna be a long shot. I've got the shakes. I'm stressed out. I haven't felt like this in a long time. So, oh man, here we go.
Not this one. Uh, big one is a lot on the sky behind. Yeah, true. One more. Did I hit him? Oh, yeah, one more. He's going up. The second one. Behind. He looks hurt. Yes. Not the first one, second one. Yeah. I hit him. Yes. But I'm gonna puke. They must have smelled us or something. We came up and they were already flying clear up the hill. I shot twice at 900 yards in the wind. He acted like he might have been hit. Ah, freak. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna see what happens here in a second. I'm sick to my stomach. here we don't know what happened came up the billies were 900 yards going up the hill they smelled us or something I shot twice the first time I thought I hit him maybe but the second time he spun dropped down the hill well it didn't fall but came down the hill then turned and ran over so we've hiked all the way up here to the top there's been a young billy kind of sitting in his area which is a really good sign we just came up over the ridge and uh, there's some uh, osprey kind of circling where we think he might be so we don't know we're just praying praying and hoping Hit him, don't know if we didn't. I don't know how that old thing blew up like that. Somehow they knew we were there and they were gone. That, that one's like, yeah, that sucks. I guess that's it. I guess that's honey. I haven't had that happen to me too often. You can get your butt kicked out in the cold. <laughs> this is where you go. It was so cold. It started raining. Looking for the Ibex I did kill. And Brady left his rain left gear. My gear there because I thought it would be quick. And I was soaked through three layers and it was cold. So we found some random person's shack. <laughs> stole the fire, it looks like, and camped out. It's pretty flipping awesome. Well, it's day three and we've got great weather today, as you can tell. Um, by this point in our show, you've seen the debacle that was yesterday. So, pretty sad deal to find an Ibex you've been dreaming about and then have him bust and not get it killed. So, we've got five days of hunting left and counting today. We've got some pretty crappy weather today in the next few days, but we're just hoping we can catch a break in the weather and glass them up and uh, put a play on them. So, sleepless night last night. I haven't slept very well, but see what happens. You know, I can just try and hope something falls into place. Is it in the rocks? We're looking back behind them. More billies. It's the same group from yesterday. We don't see the big one yet. Come on, baby. Where are you? At? 
Where would the other one be? Because there were six. The old male go there. The young one follow him. I have the flipping uh, Turkish government shooting my rifle. <laughs> Gun works there, impressed. <laughs> It's Thursday, day five, or I think it's day five of hunting. Uh, as you can tell, we got quite a bit of snow. We've lost the whole first half of today sitting in the hotel room waiting for it to break, which is never a fun thing, but uh, it's starting to lift now, so we're gonna head out to a couple spots. Um, I think we're gonna go back to uh, the cliffs above the lake where we found that big group of billies and females. Um, there was 20 or 30 billies that looked like that were there. We weren't able to get a good look at all of them, so we're gonna go back and see what's there and then go check a few others. We're looking for something that's eight plus years old. Um, super excited to find something. I think it's gonna happen today or tomorrow. So uh, hopefully this afternoon we can turn up something nice and uh, take it home with us. But uh, we need the weather to clear. It's still, <coughs> still cloudy and crappy, but it's a lot better than it was this morning. It's put down probably two or three inches um, overnight this morning. So we'll go see what we can find. We can see as well in here as we can outside. Yes. This is like wild. Huh. I don't know what that is, but it's good. <laughs> you got a bunch of water on your lens. Wow, that's crazy. Well, we're very grateful. So, Tersat, thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much. We'll talk soon. Take care. Well, it's day five or six, it's Thursday here in Turkey. Um, we've decided that we're actually going to pull the plug and call it and head home. Um, we talked to the owners of the outfit, uh, Hunting Wild Turkey, and uh, Kershot has offered us, he gave us a couple of decisions. He said, you can stay and you can hunt, um, and you can shoot an animal, or if you would like, we can bring you back and uh, we can have you hunt a mature animal, a big animal in a different area. Um, either a year from now or the following hunting season. We've decided that we're going to not shoot an eight-year-old um, or a seven-year-old. It has to be eight to be legal. Um, we're gonna head home and come back. And so it's tough, you know, it's uh, unfinished business a little bit. Um, you know, we've had an unbelievable experience. We've got to experience the culture of Turkey. Uh, Ali and, and uh, Marat have just been amazing guides. They're great people, they're good people. They want you to succeed. Um, but they've just been fantastic. They've kept us safe, they've taken good care of us, they've fed us the local food. Um, it's been great. Turkey's a beautiful place, the people are fantastic. Uh, we had a chance at one really good billy. No, things didn't work out the way that we wanted to. That'll be one that you'll think about for a long time, but falling in love with this place. You know, I'm, I've had an unbelievable time with my brother here. Uh, he's the one behind the camera. It's the first hunt we've ever been able to do like this together. And as sad as I am to go home empty-handed, I'm thrilled to be able to look forward to doing this again in the next 12 to 18 months. Uh, we will be coming back and uh, let us do it again and kill a big animal. So um, this is what it's all about, is experiencing culture, people, the animals, 
the highs, the lows, and uh, in the last six or seven days, we've got all of it. So we're grateful to be here and can't wait to get back.